Happy Wednesday everyone. I want to talk to you a little bit today about something that's very near and dear to my own heart. It's the word creativity. I love this and I was thinking a little bit about it because while I was at the place that I work at today, uh, I was doing a little bit of drawing with one of the kids that I work alongside. I'm a lunchtime supervisor and I spend time working alongside those with special needs and it's lovely just to watch them do their own thing and to create their own little drawings and things like that in dinner time we were inside because of the snow and I started doing my own drawing and, and getting into all of that and I was thinking about how long it's been since I've done my own drawing and I used to spend a lot of time doing it but then I started thinking just a few moments ago about how creativity and drawing and designing things you may be into into drawing it may be um, it may be music it may be some other form of creativity but it requires a certain way of thinking and I want to encourage you to tap into the creative side of you I don't believe that there's just two ways of doing things but sometimes we can either think about things from a, a job perspective I've got to get this thing done or um, the second which is maybe less common I want to be a little bit of creative and I was actually praying about it earlier today as I was thinking about the work that I was going to do this evening the cleaning job that I do and I just want to talk about this a little bit now because I think it's so important to have those things in our lives that we can be creative in that, that is an expression of worship I believe that our creativity can be used as an expression of worship and one example of this in my life is the songwriting I do as you probably know, um, I've written a number of songs in the past and I've just been writing some songs recently which I'm planning on putting up here on YouTube. In fact, the end of this month you'll hopefully be hearing some of those new songs, the end of March. And so I'm letting you know a little bit about that now. But maybe there's something in your life that you used to do or maybe something that you've thought about and, and it's easy for us to put something new, something that's maybe a new idea to the back of our minds. But I want to encourage you to create a little bit of space, like I talked about the other week, inspiration space, where you can just sit and listen to some people and maybe allow those ideas to fester within your heart, allow those thoughts to, to fill your mind, a, a different way of looking things, looking at things. Often when we're thinking creatively, it's a different approach to life than when we're doing things um, from a task kind of perspective I've got this job to, to do, I've got that job to do, I've got another job to do and often when we've got um, work to do we forget about using our imagination and, and imagining and, and envisioning and being creative and I never want you to lose that so my prayer for you today is that you will find something that you can step out in and you will tap into that creative part of your mind and just pray about it as well. Ask God if there's something that you can do slightly differently just to make things a little bit fresher and a little bit more exciting and a little bit more intriguing for the world around you. So having said all that, I'm going to pray for you and believe that you're going to enter into some really creative times ahead. I thank you, Lord, for everyone who's watching this. I just pray your blessing on every single person who's decided to join with me in watching these videos and join with me in my putting together of these these videos. I pray that every single person who has decided to listen to your voice and watching this will start to tap into that creative side. They'll start to realize, Lord, that there's something more that maybe you want them to do, something more that you want them to step out in. And they're going to realize that you've put something on the inside of them, that the world is waiting to, um, to see. The world is waiting to experience. Hallelujah. And they're going to give that. They're going to bring their best to this world. Because they want to do all things heartily as to the Lord. Amen. Thank you so much for watching this. If you've enjoyed watching this video, leave a comment below. And my encouragement to you as well is to share this with someone. Um, talk to your friends about being creative and maybe get a notebook out. Some These are some more practical things that you can do. Just get a notebook out and start jotting things down. Get a dream journal. That's something I'm planning on doing at some point soon. And then I've been thinking about a lot quite a bit as well. So have an amazing rest of your week. See you back here on Monday. If you're in church on Sunday, go and worship Jesus like he's coming back tomorrow. Amen. So... 
See you soon. Bye.